gosh dang that's like a four or five don't say that that is a good hey guys what's going on welcome back Devin and i are at a new kind of small lake we've never hit before it looks like a dream for kayakers the clarity is pretty good despite the high winds we've got today like 15 miles an hour so we're probably going to try and see if we can hang out where there's a little bit less of a breeze just to start this place is absolutely beautiful though the trees surrounding the lake yeah we just want to try something new there's also another smaller lake that looks to have a boat ramp in this area we're uh, somewhere in texas and we're gonna try and get on some fish so we got a bunch of stuff rigged up man we have like 10 rod and reels on deck devin's gonna be fishing as well we're gonna grab some gopros we're gonna get started and talk to you guys about how we're gonna fish it looks like there's a lot of grass in here which is fantastic uh we're currently in about a foot of water but we went over places that were about 20 feet deep so far just on the one cruise across the lake to find a quiet place to do this intro for you guys we had some awesome some feedback on the bow fishing video by the way thank you guys so much for that we would love to do more of that in the future so if you enjoyed that go ahead and let us know with a thumbs up on this one right here we're gonna go ahead and get started though let's try and cast some lines and catch some fish starting things off in the shallows I'm going with the underspin here I've got a 4.8 inch saucy swimmer swim bait with that little blade but that swim bait is really gonna do the uh, the magic I believe this is a good color for this clarity I think this is the goby color throwing it on a muscle rod for that strong hook set with just a single hook there. We'll probably work the dam over here and see what's over yonder. We got a lot of ground to cover though. Just got here, so first few casts. It's in forward. Oh, oh, there we go. Got him, nice. There we go. Good, 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 Come good. here. <laughs> first one on the swim, Come babe. here. Ooh, all right. Little guy. Good one, babe. <laughs> just when I thought. Just when you thought what? I don't know. I was just slow rolling it and I felt like I was going through grass. First little tyke of the day. I was just sitting down, cruising along, slow rolling. Thought I was going through grass and felt that little thump thump. First one. I already said that. We did not get skunked. That's a plus. And we've only been out here, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes. So uh, things are looking kind of juicy. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get on a bigger bite. Boop. There we go. Yep. Maybe a good one. <laughs> Full flips. Nice. Number two. <laughs> they like that. <laughs> a little bit of an upgrade. You think you were low or you think you were a little higher? I feel like I was kind of low. Kind of low. low. Rolling out. Just oh, low okay. Low. I gotcha. No red lips. Uh, we got two two bass on the swim baits. What about you guys? Y'all just got off the water. Oh, plug out, power off, took off the units. We've had some issues with those driving in the past with like locking on, especially on the console. It has ended up down here before, so we always just take the units off when we're making moves. We're gonna hit another like that's like 15 minutes from here though. Got the rod strapped down, everything's cleared off the deck. Two fish in the boat, both Devon's catches. I so far have not landed a single thing. It's all right though. We got more water to hit here in just a second. We'll catch you guys there. Just rolled up to spot number two. Both of these places, even though they're out in the middle of nowhere, have like nice boat ramps. <laughs> There's one other boater here actually right now. So Devin was saying the water looks pretty good. I'm assuming the clarity is pretty decent. And yeah, looks like a sweet little spot to cast a line in. So let's go ahead and get launched. All right. Okay, let's start with the same thing. Speak of the truth when it's tainted I fell into a big black hole It got me stone cold Yo, fish on 
No way. Right off the bat, Devin, they love the swim bait today. Ooh. Ooh. What is going on? I don't know. This might not be a bad one. Oh gosh, dang. That's like a four or five. Don't say that. That is a good. I'm boat flipping. Are you? Yep. Oh. <laughs> right when we got here, one of your first few casts. Oh my gosh. Get the freak. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Lake number two, fish number one. That saucy swimmer, that goby color. Just one of my confidence baits doing some work today. We might as well uh, go ahead and put this girl on the scale. She's a little chunky. Man, she wasn't going nowhere. Top of the mouth hook set. Oops, I guess that's how you do it. <laughs> go ahead and get her dunked in the water before we uh, put that girl on the scale. Oh, just about four pounds. Just about four pounds, just oh, no, kidding. No, no. Maybe you can see it in the light. Three pounds, 14 ounces, so just shy of a four pounder. First fish out of this lake, crazy. We might be onto something, so we're gonna go ahead and put her in the live well and see if we can't get a bag for y'all tonight. All right, y'all, I am joining in on the action. 4.8 inch saucy swimmer in that goby color. I just tied on an underspin. I'm throwing it on the muscle rod as well, just the green series. Devin's got the gold series. That is what has been catching all the fish today. A little breezy, sun is starting to go down. We've probably got another half hour to an hour. And this place is pretty sweet. A lot of grass. The one boat that was here other than us is heading out. So we're gonna try and stick around and see if we can put something together here. I don't know the exact underspin this is, but I think it is a Wu Tungsten. If it's not a Wu Tungsten, it's uh, just the Carl's brand that were, that they had on Carl's Bait and Tackle for a while, and I'm not sure if they even still have it, but I would say this is a quarter ounce underspin from Carl's Bait and Tackle for sure. Just don't know if it's the Wu Tungsten one or their brand. It's just a perfect, I mean, presentation, I guess. You know, you're, you can work through the grass. It is weedless because you got that hook kind of in the top of the body there. A little bit of flash, but you're able to kind of get this down lower. I've been throwing some crankbaits, some treble hooks, getting some grass on it. This seems to be just the perfect bait for the conditions here. Well, also you notice like there's a lot of grass there and then it opens up. So literally like this line right here is kind of as it gets deep, right? It's where it goes from shallow to deep. They like that transition. I'm, I'm literally just like... Oh. Oh. <laughs> yep. He's something towards us. <sighs> wow. <laughs> You're like, I'm just slow rolling it. Got him. Golly. <laughs> My first one of the day. That was like the three casts in with this bait. That just goes to show this is what's doing it, man. That's crazy. I've been fishing all day. Devin's the only one getting bites. As soon as I tie this on, almost reluctantly, I'm like, well, no, it wasn't. I just didn't think we had any more underspins. That blade is so important. That little flash gives you the extra confidence and clarity like this right here, where it's just a little less than crystal clear, right? And so I was like, well, I'm just gonna have a weighted belly hook, but it's not gonna have that blade and I'm gonna feel like I'm at a disadvantage. So I checked the tackle box, checked the terminal, checked here, checked there. There we go. <laughs> and I found some of these and look, I think we found the school dudes. Devin is on too, this is ridiculous. <laughs> there might be numbers right here y'all this might be the spot crazy come on guys we need someone else to put in the box that's my first catch on the screen muscle rod too i think yeah maybe not but whoops this one here what <laughs> Got Did him. You see that? Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, it's another, another good one, huh? A couple pounds. Did you see that? Sick. That was funny. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> what are I you doing? I, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Oh, I wasn't recording, were you? Uh, yeah, I was recording. Yep, right. yep. Nice one, though. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool though. Good thing. I, I let him have it for a minute. Set it straight yeah. up because Weston was to my right. <laughs> oh, look at all that bait. Oh, look at all that bait. Jesus. Guys, it's literally going crazy. Can you all see that? There's so many fish in front of the boat right now. Look, they're all scurrying. Wow. I'm going to go through them. Wait for it. 
our saucy swimmers probably look just like those things. Otherwise, these bass wouldn't be going nuts for them. Dang. There I am. Ah! <laughs> you yeah. did. Oh, God, I had a bite. Something just short struck it. It, it went for its tail like doo doo. Yep. Jeez. That's what I've had a couple of them do. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, that could have been like a bluegill or oh, something. There's a bunch of bait. Yeah, there's definitely some stuff munching right here. Hey girl, getting chunky for that spawn season. Alrighty guys, so after this first fish, we went ahead and circled the rest of the lake, but we're gonna go ahead and since we're back in the area that we caught her in, get her released and uh, still fish for a little while longer, see if we can't link up with something a little bigger, but we wanted to get that release on the camera for you guys. And grow up to be a big old double digit. All right, y'all, that wraps up an amazing day of fishing on some new lakes. I hope you guys enjoyed that. The boat, the hot tamale, if you guys are new to the channel, by the way, is what we named her, was putting in some work, hopping around from lake to lake and put us on some fish with what seems to be Devin and I's favorite confidence bait lately, especially as springtime is hitting. You gotta go with some swim baits and that little underspin, just the extra touch, I don't know, it adds some confidence for us. Don't be afraid to set that hook hard because with a single hook, you gotta penetrate the lip nicely. Otherwise, you might lose the fish. Keep them pinned, keep the line tight, crank them in. And I hope you guys get on your new PB this spring. The fishing is getting hot down here in Texas. I'm sure you northerners are gonna experience that soon enough. And guess what, speaking of northerners, we just had fishing grubs and fishing with Becca in town. We've got some videos coming up with fishing with Norm and Yak Pack being featured. They came over from Florida. It's been an amazing week. I think I have 11, no, I know, I have. 11 videos to edit at this very moment and I haven't been uploading very much so if you feel like you've been missing out on the content it's because you have been I haven't been uploading I've done like two uploads in the last two weeks which is incredibly slow for me but now that I've got the time I wanted to film as much as possible when they were in town I'm gonna to be getting to editing hopefully crank out close to one a day for you guys for a little while like I said the bites getting hot and we have some crazy catches coming your way so be sure to subscribe hit notifications and we'll catch you guys on the next episode see ya <gasps>